calculating the cost price, profit or selling price is one of those things that are quite difficult, but it's a very important thing that you need to know because we do this from grade eight, from grade nine up to grade twelve, and it is hidden into some of the activities and um, so therefore we really need to know how to do this so there's different ways that you can do this and teachers will also explain it in different ways right so the first thing that we need to know is that cost price plus profit equals my selling price and i like to divide it into three columns my cost price profit and selling price and then when i do each number i'm going to divide it in a percentage row and in a Rand row. All right, if we take a look at number one, number one tells us that we have the cost price and we have the profit percentage. So we are going to take the information they give us and we are going to write it where it is supposed to be. So the cost price of 2000 Rand, we are going to write it underneath cost price and in the Rand. So there we're going to have 2000 Rand. Then they give us the profit of 20%. Now you should know that cost price is 100%. So now I can say 100%. My profit is 20%. So I'm putting in the 20 there. there. And then I'm going to say 100 plus 20 equals 120. So now my, my row at the top is done. All right. Now there's different ways to, for you to do it. I like to do it as follows. I like to start by saying that I have 2,000 Rand. I'm going to check where's the most of my information and it's in the cost price. So I have 2,000 Rand. I divide it with what I have, which is the 100. And then I'm going to multiply with what I want. And I want 120. All right, let's just put it out there. So I'm starting off with the 2,000 Rand and I'm dividing that with what I have. What I have is 100. And what I want is 120. All right. You can also write it, and this is where there's different ways. You can also say 2,000, and you can multiply it with 120 over 100. All right. That is also correct. All right. Then if I get my selling price, then I'm going to see that my selling price is 2,400. 2,400 rand. All right. And now I can check myself because now I can start again and say 2,000 divided with 100, multiply with 20, and I will get 400 Rand. And now 2,000 plus 400 is 2,400. So I need to check myself as well to make sure that I get my answer correctly. All right. The next way they can do it is that they can give me my selling price and my profit percentage. So if they give me my selling price and my profit percentage, now I'm going to do it the same way. I'm going to start. Selling price is 6,090. So I'm writing it in my selling price column underneath rand. My profit is 45%. So I know this is 100. I know now this is 45. 100 plus 45 equals 145. All right, now I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to start by saying I have 6,090. That's what I have. I'm going to divide it with what I have of 145. And I'm going to multiply with what I want. And I want 100. So it is 6,090. Divide with what I have. I have 145. And I want 100. Or you could have said 6,090 times 100 over 145 and then I'll get my answer as 4200. Again, I can double check it with the 45%. So I can do it now both ways. I can either start over here or I can say 4200 divided with 100 multiply with 45 to get my profit of 1890. And then you will see that you are correct. All right, the third one is when they do not give me a profit margin, but they give me the cost price and the selling price. And now we need to know that there is a formula. And the formula says my selling price, um, selling price minus my cost price, which is actually my profit amount, and divide that then with my cost price and multiply with 100 to get my profit margin. All right. So I have my cost price as 50, 
I have my selling price is 90. 50 plus 1 equals 90. Oh, it's 40. So all I'm going to say is 40 divided with my cost price, which is 50, multiply with 100, and then I will get my profit margin as 80. So then it's 100 plus 80, and now I can check that as well.